Well, isn't this pastoral? Yes, well, we do happen to be standing on the southern rim of an impact crater, whatever, though. Um, so we're looking right now. This line is pretty much the rim of the, the bowl-shaped impact craters. There's a steep hill right now, here. So this is the rim where we're going into the impact crater, this bowl-shaped depression, um, which is down there. Um, well, you might want to be looking at a geologic map to tell you, hmm, I wonder where we are anyway. So here is a geologic map made by Bill Cordua of the Rock Elm Disturbance. Where we're standing is right here on the southern uh, rim of this huge depression called the impact crater. So on the outside you have this, you know, pale greeny stuff, and that's that um, Prairie de Chine group that we were looking at, those Dola stones that are middle order vision. Here we have this stuff called the Washington Road Sandstone, which is also um, middle order vision. And inside here there's these shales, um, and which are also order vision, good. And then right here, this yellow stuff, this is actually the Mount Simon Formation, which is Cambrian. So most of these rocks are all about 450 million years old. And inside here, this is the oldest in the middle, which is Cambrian, which is 500 million years old. So somehow, this got uplifted from the bottom because younger rocks always overlie older rocks, right? Um, that's the law of superposition, if you've learned about that. So you can see we're on the rim, and then this group of trees right here, this is a central uplift. I know, right? Hard to believe. You can hardly see that there's any uplift going on at all, but you can hardly see that there's this little fault either. Um, so that far farm right there, that's actually the north rim. So we're on the south rim, we're on the south rim, and we're looking at the north rim right here. And that sand of trees I pointed out is forming right on Cambrian sandstone. That's the central uplift right there. You can also see this little hill right here. That's all basin fill. So when something impacts the earth and the earth creates this crater, obviously that's going to weaken the sides. And so these rocks are going to come tumbling down off the sides because it's been over steepened. This is the basin fill. And you can also see that on the other side. Um, generally, this is just hard to see because it all just looks like hill and cornfields right now, right? But we are standing on the south rim of the Rock Elm Disturbance, looking in to the center of it. So right now, we're driving down the rim of this crater, which is kind of cool to say you're driving in a crater. Um, and we can see the um, HH, the county HH fault that we'll be driving on um, up there. So this is like really cool. This crater is four miles across. So the impactor was two football fields big, long, across, diameter. And this thing just like smacked into the earth and created this huge crater that we're driving in right now. Like if we were not little Hot Wheels car and this was like a cereal bowl, it's like bigger than that.